Hello everyone, this is the Great Pumpkin speaking and welcome to this new episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we took a tour around one head and we're gonna finish that before heading off to Giant Step. Kinda feel like the game failed to some extent uh, at providing guidance to what you were supposed to do at times. Part of it might be because uh, most of it stands on BuzzBuzz telling you to uh, go find the various your sanctuary location and leaving you there out to dry. Oh, I already talked to this lady. But you know, that's fine. There's just enough to keep you going. I wonder if Earthbound has been released yet. <laughs> it's been a few years, you're behind, little lady. <laughs> Who's there? It's creepy in here. What? You want to answer? Is there anything over there? No, not really. Okay, let's have a look at the police station. Ooh. I would rather be working as parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Man, am I steamed? Don't even try talking to me. Well, it's too late. The townspeople are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots breaks out or people start acting wild. So we police are being ultra cautious. Hmm. Kinda sounds like doing a desk job with that music. <laughs> Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. You look a little old to be in a street gang. Hey, I'm in here! Go and find another can! Heh, I was just joking. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Apparently you don't either. And there's nothing in here. For now. Look at that, he's smiling, he's so happy. Got a little lady here. I heard there's a guy who stops to read each bulletin board he encounters. There, there then he says, check a Rooney. Is that you? Apparently that's supposed to be funny, but I don't get it. Road to Tucson. Hey dude. Oh, oh, the road's closed again. It's one that's claimed to fame. The road to Tucson is closed. You can just squeeze through roadblocks either. One that is famous for roadblocks. Don't talk to me, I'm on duty. Until I have Chief Strong's permission, I can let you through. Well, let's head over to the bakery. I want to tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup, but I won't because I don't want to bother you with a story that has nothing to do with your adventure. If I keep talking about unrelated stuff, you might start ignoring important messages. It's important for you to talk to people. Also, a person might give you a different message, depending on when you speak with to them. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me again. Ha! <laughs> So you see what I mean? It's important to take time, uh, time out to talk with many people. So yep, that's it. Although most of the time they're just cracking jokes. Hello, may I help you? What shall I get you? Cookie, bread roll, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. The thing about the skip sandwich is it actually make you run faster. Please come again. It seems like every bakery has been making lucky sandwiches these days. They're kinds of like fortune cookies, except you can win stuff. Oh yeah, and it's a sandwich. Okay, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. Anyway, the best thing that can happen is recover PP. I, I, I just wish I knew what PP was. Hmm. All I cut is cheese on bread. You haven't tried it? It's the latest craze in culinary circles. Yeah, but I don't care for it. Dish also had bread baguettes. Or is that how we say it in English? I don't know. So we've engaged Yes Man Jr. and that other guy. We gotta get rid of the Pogo Punk fast. Pogo Punk fell down. Yes Man Jr. swung its solo hoop. Mm, we're a little of trouble here. Swung its solo hoop. And we're dead. Oh, well, that was fast. Ness, it looks like you got your head handed to you. 
It's all about giving it another shot. Sure. Ness decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck. So yeah, what happens uh, when you get defeated like this, aside from losing all your PP, is that uh, you lose half your money that you have on you at the moment. That's why it's important to leave your money at the ATM when you can. Hopefully we'll run into a magic butterfly at some point. Anyway, let's get around the arcade. Oh, we didn't talk to that dog, did we? Bow wow, don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. Good for you, dude. This bit is a little difficult for people. I must admit it's been a while since I died in around here. But you know, things happen. There's the pizzeria there. Open soon, Mac Pizza wanted branch. Mac Pizza, huh? Do you want to start a fight or what? Skatepunk. Skatepunk called for help. Pogopunk joined the battle. That can be dangerous. Ew. That's a lot of dudes. Pogopunk is attacking. Pogopunk is attacking. Pogopunk A fell down. He fell down again. I fell down and it can't get up. He has gained 42 EXP. I didn't notice that. Ape uh, logo is on the main map. Hmm, how about that? Hey dude, do you want to meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Engage the Pogo Punk. Pogo Punk charge forward, 14 damage. This wasn't so difficult now, was it? The enemy left the present. Inside the present, there was a hamburger. Less to a nest token. Kinda confused on my buttons. Oh, we got him. Surprise attack. Yes, man, Junior. There we go. This is level 5. Improved a tiny bit. That's good. Who's that guy? What? You want to meet our boss, Frank? He's in the backyard of the game arcade, thinking about peace and love. You might want to visit him. So yep, the leader of a street gang is thinking about peace and love. That makes sense. I should have enough to buy the cheap bear bracelet by now though. Maybe a few hamburgers as well. Might want to call that as well. I don't know. 159. That's more than enough. There we go. Hey dude. Nice little music into what makes me want to buy a lot. Hmm. Room was something like 20 bucks at the hotel or something. Hmm. Or maybe it was 32. Kinda got that number on my mind. Not sure why. May I take your no order? Smile, smile. One or two hamburgers should do the trick. Okay. It's back to the hotel, then we'll be heading to the arcade to take down Frank. Hey dude, welcome to Hotel Oneette. One night stay will cost you 35 bucks. Oh, just two bucks short, huh? <sighs> Could probably kill something and be done with it. Can I respawn another one of those guys close by? Maybe not. A can of fruit juice. Cool. It 
was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You'd better just beat it. Another Pogo Punk. Charge forward. Eight damage. They're not so difficult once you have the Mr. Baseball, uh, baseball uh, cap, as well as the cheap bracelet. Plenty of hamburgers, though. Hmm. Might not need to go to the hotel after all. Uh huh, uh huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Don't get sleepy, or I'll kick your butt. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Nah, why not? Come back after you finish Earthbound. <laughs> Self referencing there. Don't be such a snob. This man Jr. swung his hula hoop. Became tame. He has gained 13 EXP. It's kinda nice how the music there kinda sound like the arcades were before the era of the NES. To tell you the truth, I like, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. Yeah, you should. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gun? Get your own twit. When you buy an item that that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Heh <laughs> heh. I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own abilities. So, are you ready to get it on, Spanky? That's not nice. Shredded fiercely on a skateboard and missed. I missed as well. Okay. Now let's see, do we keep going or we turn back? What's my status looking like? 49 on 60. 33 bucks that I may lose half of. I think we've got a shot. Hmm, I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least give me your name? Say your name. Our first boss, Frank. Frank's pretty tough. He came out swinging for 8 damage. Frank said something nasty. My guts went down to 1. Frank said something nasty. And rendish the knife. That's not cool, dude. Let's use a hamburger. Frank said something nasty. Hmm. Not doing very much, is he? That music is actually a remix of Johnny B. Good called uh, I think it's Johnny C. Bad in this. Whatever. Well, that was easy. Let's gain 50 XP. Fail proof Frank can be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. Oh my god, he's got a freaking robot! Frankie Mark Simon generated a, uh, a thing of steam. Frankenstein Mark II threw a punch. Frankenstein Mark II tore into you. So the thing about this is that when he prepares a big attack, you're generally better off just uh, defending. After that, you can attack. Like this. Generated another burst of steam. Let's use another hamburger to be sure. Ow! Alright, we stopped at zero and yet uh, our stuff already got in. That's because of the gauge that gets slower on your health that gives you time to heal up before you die. Frankenstein Mark II was destroyed. Let's uh, gain 76 EXP. Oh baby. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems 
to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step, that's all I know. Suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading to Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer's shack. Purkle, the mayor of Oanet, has the key, a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Ain't that nice. Yeah? Yeah? That's all he says. Well, now the sharks aren't gonna attack us. So we'll go to the hotel and then we'll go see Purkle. Oh. Well, the city hall is closer. Might as well go see Purkle now. Yay! I'm kind of important now. Since you beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Purkle is waiting for you. Ain't that nice, Baldy? Thanks so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting my Mayor Purkle. Hehe. <laughs> hey, Baldy. Hey, hey, hey! I'm Mayor B.H. Purkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big times, kicked their butts, bit their head off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. That's a little graphic, don't you think? Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you! What? You want a key to the Touring Entertainer's shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could let up keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Ah, you're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. That's got the key to the shack. Hey, what's your name? I'm so busy with my election that I don't have time to meet with you. So yeah, Mayor Perkle is a little corrupt. All of these uh, billboards around town uh, bringing up his name is mostly... I mean to, uh, to hide his true personality and uh, brush up his public image. Still, given the state of Wanet, I gotta say it's a really great city. Okay, let's go to the ATM. That's not too bad. Hmm. About 70 should be good. Welcome to Hotel One Ad. A one night stay will cost you $35, would you like to stay? Have a nice day. Ah, oh, that's so nice. These guys will always be there after you go to a hotel. They'll read you the morning paper. Good morning, here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headline in the One Ad Times. Mayor of One Ad teaches Sark sharks a lesson, brings peace to One Ad. So yeah, Mayor Perkle is taking credit for us uh, beating up the sharks. That's not nice. I love the city. It's too bad we're gonna be leaving soon. Hello, may I take your orders? My smile. What can I get for you? Taking lots of hamburgers because uh, at the moment they're pretty much the best recovery item I can get and because I don't trust myself uh, to survive without them. I'll probably get a bunch that I haven't eaten by the time I'm done. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. If you don't have your ATM card, you can't use this. 15 bucks. Uh, that was about 50. Uh, I'm not sure that worked right. Deposit. Valid instruction input. Oh, only had 26 bucks on me. Oh, then I don't care. Kind of dirt out there. Let's go to the traveling entertainer shack. Hey, doggy. 
We haven't seen much of you. Now that I think about it, we didn't see any snake yet either. That's strange. Oh, there's one. Oops. Guess I got a little strong now. Left a present. Inside there was a cookie. Don't have much use for it. Did we read this before? Giant step. North at the top of the mountain. Danger. Do not enter. I heard there's a big footprint on the, the hilltop behind the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. So they're kind of clowns, being the traveling entertainer. The shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and hotels are too expensive. Do not enter. Traveling entertainer's shack. The door is locked. Let's take our key and use it. Let's use key to the shack. The door opened. I'm guessing those guys aren't missing much being unable to go there. I mean, I wouldn't sleep in that thing with the uh, spring coming out. Oh well, hey, there's even a hole leading outside. Gotta be full of bugs. Ugh. Yep, you see those little uh, black pixels? They're actually enemies. You got attack slugs and their cords. Attack slug is attacking. Enemies in this game as well as the other ones have a tendency to just do random stuff over time like edging closer or trying to cast spell when they don't have the PP for it, stuff like that. Try to hypnosis A, but it didn't work very well. Text lag is attacking. It was able to concentrate, which means it can use its PP afterward. Let's gain 108 XP. These little, little monsters here are rowdy mouses. These things are actually a high critical hit rate, so they'll smash a lot more often. They're not much of a problem if they don't smash. If they do, they can be dangerous. But for some reason, it keeps missing. Good for us, I suppose. Well, let's have a look at what's coming up. Not too much at the moment. Forgot to mention earlier is that uh, when you encounter enemies that are much weaker than you, the game basically ends the battle immediately and gives you uh, your experience. That's what we saw with those snakes and dogs earlier. Cool. What's in there? Open the present. There's a skip sandwich inside. Ness takes it. Another mouse. Hello, Mr. Mouse. This game can be pretty hard at the beginning, although if you take your time to fight things and don't run away, get the best equipment possible, it's very difficult. There are a few spots where the difficulty scales up a bit, but it's not so bad. These are a good source of XP. As are the black and toy because they can call other monsters to help them. Let's use the hamburger. Another smash. Twice in a row. Blankentoid. Life up A. 
They're already full of HP though, so it's not gonna do much. Tough little buggers they are. Oh, Ew, that's a lot. Yep, so I got pretty unlucky here. I guess we're gonna call it quits for the time being. Thank you for watching everyone, this was Ray Pumpkin. You all have a pleasant time now. Bye bye!